Today's video is all about the totally awesome Tong storage box here on the Novo 10.6. We'll cover three points in this video, why you absolutely need this mod on your rig, how to install it, where to get it, and last at the end, I'll tell you if I have any regrets or if I'd buy it all over again. So stay tuned. Hey, welcome to my channel, Adventure Rocks, which exists to build up the family by providing resources to enjoy the great outdoors together. Now, for those of you who've been watching some of my other videos, you know that I rent out this cool overlander here behind me. And in summer of 2020, I created a fairly long orientation video. It was about 45 minutes. And it was intended for my renters to watch beforehand to get familiar with the rig. Well, it turns out a lot of other people found it interesting, tuned in to watch it. And that has garnered a lot of questions like, how did you do the sync mod or where did the tongue storage box come from? And so I've decided to start a new series here on the channel that's all devoted to upgrades and modifications. Now the goal here is to enhance the time you spend with your family in the outdoors with clever solutions and mods to those pesky problems. Most of what you'll see has already been completed, meaning it's not gonna be a step-by-step -step documentary. Instead, it will focus on tips and tricks to do the install, a product review, and of course, more importantly, where to buy the items. I will include affiliate links in the description below, so if you do like the videos, be sure to click on those links to support the channel. Now, as a bonus, in addition to upgrades and mods on this cool overlanding rig, I'll also be featuring my own personal rig, a 44-foot fifth wheel. So you'll definitely want to click the subscribe button. There are some really cool upgrades and mods that will enhance the time you spend with your family. So if you're not already following, be sure to click on the subscribe button to get all the latest videos. And if you really like it, Click the thumbs up button. All right, now back to the video. All right, let's jump right in here on the tongue storage box mod. Let me answer the first question. Why would you want this on your rig in the first place? And to do that, I'm gonna jump over here to the side and we're gonna take a look at the storage that comes from the factory here on the 10.6. So you can see we're looking into the cabin here and between the frame members here on the floor, they've got this handy compartment carved out. I really think this is clever. I love the way they made use of this space. And you can see it's got a plastic lid on top. It's not hinged, so you just put your finger into the hole to lift it. The lid does weigh a good bit and it is a little bit clumsy. So you kind of have to just slide it off to the side. So you can see here, you've got about four inches deep and about four feet wide. Right now I've just got a folding uh, table laying in there, but you can see there's a good bit of space for different items. My thought was, if I'm looking for a place for my electrical cord, my water hose, my leveling blocks or chocks, all those things are gonna have dirt, debris, dust on them from camping wherever my campsite is. And I really don't want to be bringing them in and out of here every time, especially where I'm sleeping. I wanna to try to keep this space as neat and clean as I can. And so on top of that, the lid, like I said, doesn't stay up. It can be a little bit hard to reach things. I'm over six foot. And if I'm trying to reach anything past the halfway point, it starts to get just a little bit of a stretch. So not super convenient on that front, but I do love the way they made use of this space. I just think it's better suited for things that you're gonna keep inside the rig or maybe things that you're not gonna use as much. So those are some of the reasons that landed me here on this tongue storage box. Let me just show you how much room you've got inside here. You can see all the items that you typically use outside from your electrical cable to your water hose, to your whisk broom, your tent poles, your leveling blocks and chocks, all those things are inside the tongue box now on the outside of the rig. Now let me get all these things pulled out and that way I can give you some measurements. All right, so check this out. All these things were inside the tongue storage box, things that typically get dirty, things that you use on the outside, and now they're staying outside and now you can see just how much space you have inside the tongue storage box. So let me give you some dimensions. Inside, from the longest side to the longest side, 36 inches here in the back. Then along the front, 18 inches. On the diagonal, 18 inches. And same on this side, 18 inches. Then overall height, inside, from the bottom floor of the, of the box to the top, 16 inches. So you can see quite a bit of storage and room to put different things inside the tongue box. All right, let's talk about how to install the tongue storage box. So every Novo 10.6 comes standard with a 20 gallon propane tank mounted here up in the front. Now a 20 pound propane tank is 18 inches tall typically. 
Now remember the tongue storage box is only 16 inches tall. So how did we do this? Well, fortunately, the factory recessed the propane tank into the A-frame such that it is flush with the bottom of the A-frame here. And so even though the propane tank is 18 inches tall, it sits down and therefore we can accommodate it here in this 16 inch tall tongue box. Now that means all we have to do is make a cutout for the propane tank all the way around in order to install this tongue storage box. So next you just have to figure out where you want the propane tank to fall in your tongue storage box. And for me, that was mostly dictated here by the battery storage box right behind it. I wanted to keep this battery storage box right between the rig and the tongue storage box. And I also did not want to intrude too much on the tongue jack up front here. And so for me, my goal was to get it as tight as I could against that battery storage box. And so you can see here, I've allowed quite a bit of space behind the propane tank. And then moving to the front of the storage box, I've got a little bit of space there. Other considerations on my unit, this holder for the propane tank was welded to my A-frame. And same with this bracket here that holds the regular, all this has been welded together. And so you can't really take that off. What I chose to do was leave a little bit of a gap here. You can see it's only about anywhere from a quarter inch to three eighths of an inch all the way around the propane tank. And this is actually a good thing too, because when you think about it, propane tanks, they may have some small leaks sometimes in some of the fittings here. Sometimes you may open up a propane uh, storage container and you smell a little bit of propane and that's, that's pretty normal. But propane is heavier than air. And so you'll notice most propane storage covers are hollow on the bottom, they're all open. And that's so that the propane can drop on down and exit the, the container. So this is really a good thing, I think, to have some clearance around. Plus, when you're installing this storage box after you make the cutout, you're having to place it over the propane tank, you're carefully sliding it over that propane tank. And so really having some clearance all the way around your tank is a good thing. Now you can see here, I did have to notch it out just a little bit more to fit around this bracket. I also chose to do the same thing to fit where the clamp is right there. And then if we come around here to the opposite side, you can see I also notched it out for the gas hose to fit through. So when you do your measurements before you make your cutout, just double check everything, make sure your, your measurements are right and give yourself enough clearance to slide this tongue storage box right on over the tank once you get it all cut. Now a standard 20 gallon propane tank is approximately 12 inches in diameter. It just so happens that if you've got a five gallon bucket or even one of these smaller two, two and a half gallon buckets, they are typically around 12 inches in diameter as well. So I just used a bucket just like this one to trace on the bottom of this storage box upside down. I just flipped it on its bottom and then took this bucket and traced my 12 inch diameter circle onto the bottom. Now you could of course get fancy and, and put some string and a pencil and make a perfect circle as well. But it was just super easy for me to take a bucket just like this one and trace my circle on there. Now here we're looking into the back of the tongue storage box. And for my situation, I did three and a half inches from this cutout here, this notch on the back of the tongue storage box to where my hole starts for the propane tank. And in the front of the tongue storage box up against the propane tank, you can see I've got just under two inches there from the front of the tongue storage box to where the cutout begins for the propane tank. Then the propane tank itself is centered on the A-frame and so I simply centered it from left to right inside the tongue storage box. All right, let's talk about the tools to get this job done. So I used a standard drill bit for a pilot hole and then came back with a jigsaw just like this one with a wood cutting blade. It'll cut like butter in the plastic. And I cut my hole, I did a dry fit. I had to fine tune it just a little bit to clear some of the obstacles you can see there. And then once I was happy with my fit, I went ahead and used the included bolts here and those big plate washers to secure the tongue box to the A-frame and you can just use a standard drill there. The screws are self-tapping, so they'll drill the right through the sheet metal of the A-frame. And you'll put four of those in. So you can see there's one here in the back, another one on the opposite side, and then two in the front there. Now you'll notice two other bolts here on either side of the propane tank, and those are actually for the mount, the propane tank mount. I went ahead and put those on top of the tongue storage box as that I didn't want a, a bulge or something, you know, poking through the bottom there. Now on the back of my unit, 
for the regulator plate that holds the regulator here, there was a bolt welded on here that was to secure the previous propane cover that it came with. And for me, it was in the way. It stuck out a good inch, inch and a half, and I could not slide things here between the regulator and the tongue storage box. So I just took a reciprocating saw tool and just nipped that little bolt right off there, and that way I've got plenty of room to get things in and out here. All right, that's really it for the install. You can see here on the front, you can put a padlock if you wish, or I've just got a quick clip just to keep the lid from popping open inadvertently. Now you might be thinking, where can you get this tongue storage box? Well, I'm gonna put a link in the description, an affiliate link where you can get this exact same tongue storage box. Now remember, you do need to modify it just like I did so that it fits around the propane tank there. There are a bunch of other boxes very similar to this one you can get to. And so uh, I will give the measurements here. That way you know what this one measures on the outside. Exterior dimensions, 36 inches in the back, 18 inches in the front, 17 inches on the diagonal on either side. And then this little section here, about four and a half. The overall height of the box is 17 and a quarter. And let me point out one other important consideration here. You can see when the box is open, the lid does protrude the way it hinges there about another inch and a half, two inches. So you just want to give room. In other words, if you push this box right up against something like a trailer, you're not going to be able to open it. So you just want to make sure you give yourself some clearance for that lid in the back there. Last question. Do I have any regrets or would I buy this one again? I would absolutely buy this exact same box again. Now there are many other boxes, some of them metal, some of them have diamond plate on them. I mainly decided against metal due to cost and this plastic one here is corrosion free. I didn't want to have to deal with rust. It's easy to cut and modify. Even though it is plastic, it is fairly thick and it feels very tough. It's definitely strong enough to house all your gear and tools inside here. When you shut the tongue box, it may seem tempting to want to climb on top of here. I would not recommend it. If you have to get to the roof, you still got room on the A-frame to step down here. You know, maybe you could rest a knee on top of here for balance, but I would not bear your full weight on top of the box. The box is waterproof. I have never had problems with water getting in. You can see here, it's got a lip and then up under here, another lip. So really the chances of water getting in here are pretty slim. We've had quite a bit of rain in different situations, even driving through the rain and never had a problem with water getting inside the box. I have seen some folks attach U-clips to the lid, and that way you can put a hammer or something like this and kind of clip it into the lid so it's always easy to get to. So that's definitely a clever idea. I'm gonna mention one other thing, and some people might view this as a con, and that is the way I've got this tongue storage box mounted on the front. You can see it protrudes on either side of the A-frame. It is about three and three quarters of an inch on either side there. And that is because I wanted to keep the battery box behind the tongue storage box. And you also remember have to have about two inches of clearance for this lid to hinge up so it doesn't hit your rig in the back. Now for me, this is not a con visually, I'm okay with that. The only situation I can think of where you might have a little bit less clearance is if you are with your tow vehicle hitched up and you're about to jackknife the A-frame, maybe you're in a tight spot or you're in an awkward angle trying to back something up, make a, a 360 turn or something, and your tow vehicle's bumper is getting very close to kissing the A-frame. Well, now you have, you know, three and three-fourths inches less of clearance because this tongue storage box is sticking out. Now, for me, I'm okay with that. There's really not a lot of times you're going to be jackknifed like that and you really need that space. And personally, I'd rather kiss this with my bumper on the tow vehicle then hit the metal A-frame. All right, that's it for today's video. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you found it incredibly helpful. If you did, be sure to give me a thumbs up and make sure you are subscribed. There's gonna be some really cool upgrades and mods coming up in this series that you definitely don't wanna miss. Be sure to support the channel by using the affiliate links below. And last, if there's something you're not seeing in these videos, leave a comment, let me know. All right, thanks for watching.